Prescript Tech is coming with uh, very uh, new ways of uh, informing and uh, uh, implementing the cervical cancer screening. And we really do hope that it will upgrade the situation in, in these communities. We motivate the women. First of all, we mobilize them through radio and the different channels we are using to get messages to them. Uh, we also reach them through vi village health teams, the VHTs, who are based in the communities, the members of the health system that are based in the grassroots of the community. And that's how we, we are able to mobilize women sensitize them and then they are able to decide. Prescript Tech is giving an opportunity for women to prove to themselves that there is a possibility of a cell swab which can be done in the confines um, uh, of their home or it could be in a camp based setting and where they feel they are given uh, adequately educated and provided the awareness and they feel empowered that the health is in their hands. And when we are going to their doorstep and giving them an opportunity to do a swell swab and then getting themselves checked and then assuring themselves that next 5 to 10 years, um, I mean, they, uh, they can be cancer free, they are at a lesser risk as compared to the normal population. I am sure that uh, this, is, this will be a big milestone and uh, as far as uh, women are concerned for the cervical cancer screening. VIA is a very subjective decision making. VIA involves a lot of subjectivity in it. A lot of experience is required to say whether VIA lesion is, is a positive or negative, whether it is called as acetovite or it is not acetovite lesion. So this expertise is lacking and the manpower training is a huge cost. So AI is what we thought would be useful to help as a decision support system to help a low skilled uh, health worker to provide a decision. Also, this AI device that we have developed also saves the image that has been acquired so that a second opinion is possible. Prescriptech has helped to train the midwives in those facilities, equip the facilities with what is required. In addition to that, apart from screening the women in the way they like, they like it when they do it themselves. They don't have to have issues of uh, exposure and embarrassment. Only a few women who really require further management have now to go to the, faci the facilities. So that brings down the workload of the health worker. They are not overwhelmed with these numbers as in VIA. And so the health workers are also happy that they don't have to work on so many. They only work on those who have tested positive and need further management. And that is a plus because we are using VIA elsewhere and the health workers are overwhelmed. But now that has come down. Now what the community liked most was not only bringing the HPV to their doorsteps, but using their own, the community health workers. These are the people they live with, the people they work with, they believe in, and not us. So using the community health workers was the biggest plus to the entire program. <laughs>